Hey man, hey man, it's been a minute, a minute, minute, minute since I played this visual novel, dog. Twist of my life, man. If you don't know what it is already, it's your boy Brian after dark. And if this is your first time watching this, go back and watch the previous. You know what I'm saying? Get caught up with it. Get us a thumbs up. Glad y'all clicked on this video. Glad you're here. Glad you're here too on this journey. You know what I'm saying? So let's get right back into the twist of my life. Let's see the vibes. Let's see the vibe. That's how you coming in. All right. All right. Good morning to you too. Shoot. Why are you up so early? I don't know. I woke up and can't get back to sleep. What are you thinking about? I have something more interesting on my mind rather than brooding over something. Let me see if... Oh, I'll catch you on the next. All right. You're so quick today. I was very close to peeing myself. Oh, wait. Are you serious? Yes, I feel a bit weird today. What if it was? Alex, I think I'm falling in love. Is it bad? Falling in love with me already? Already? Oh. We've been playing this for, we've been, it's been 22 days and you already falling in love? I mean, we do live together and it's been, we, we do see each other every day and we've been doing, you know, getting to really know each other every day now, so. Should we? Should we? Should we? We gonna we gonna go with. I think I'm having a feeling as well, man. I want to see what this is gonna go, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel the same. Damn, I gotta run. Huh? Where are you going? What about me? I'm sorry. We'll finish what we started in the evening, Alex. Don't be upset. Well, I guess I'll have to walk around with them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, then there will be an endless amount of girls chasing you after today. Everyone will see how strong my boy is. All right, I gotta run. Bye. Oh, and I'll remember this for sure. For sure. Hi, Alex. Why did you leave last time? I saw that you were doing pretty much okay, so I decided to leave you alone. Nah, it wasn't okay. It was a disaster. It was a bad look all around. Come on, do you want to tell me that you don't have a girlfriend? I tried to hook up with Olivia, but to no avail. I'm known to be a funny guy, but they still get offended sometimes. I remember the moment when we, when he jokingly slapped Olivia's ass. Maybe these rude jokes are the reason of Andrew's failures. On the other hand, a lot of girls like this. Look, do you have any single girl in mind? How do you know? Oh. Nah, sorry, dude. I don't keep such girls around. That's right. You should fuck such girls if you know them. Well, okay. See you around, bruh. You know what I'm saying? They go, Alana's fine. Hi. Come to the dean's office with me, please. If you say so. Hello. We have some business to discuss with you. Who is this we you are talking about? What business do you mean? By saying we, I mean the student and me. I'm all ears. We think that you should cancel the, that disciplinary hearing. Why would I do that? Such a thing. Because otherwise the whole college will see what a quick draw you are. What? Don't get too worked up. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing you can do anyway. What will our board of directors say if they see what you do with our college girls in the evenings? What will your wife say? You're bluffing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey. What about the phone? Show him the vi- Hey, yeah, yeah. Show him the pictures. How? Where did- It doesn't matter. What matters is that we have this homemade sex tape. So I don't forget to close the door. You'll end up to in jail for this. This is- You know perfectly well that this sound- This should remain unseen, right? The rules are simple. You forget about us and we forget- We forget about you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fuck your college girls and live peacefully. To hell with you. I agree. Now scram. I don't want to see any of you- the matter about your transfer will soon be resolved, Alana Victoria, but if someone somehow, don't worry, it's only between us. Relax. Hey, that was easy. That was easier than, than I thought, you know what I'm saying? I thought it would be worse than that. Okay, that's it. He won't bother us anymore. I'll send you this video just to be safe. Who knows what he can come up with? Then again, I recorded the conversation. You're brilliant. You put that asshole in his place. Yeah, that was funny. So shall we go to class? Sure. You can go and have some rest. Wow, what is going on with our vixen today? She just found someone to fuck, I guess. You are such a perv. However, that does make some sense. I was too late to listen to gossip, so I went about my business. Yo, how she dressing like that? You know what I'm saying? She look, she look a type fire. She look a type fire, yo. Hold up, yo. Why, why can't I just talk to her? You know what I'm saying? She, all right, man. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but we need to continue. 
okay, there's this there's a little bit more dialogue going on here in this classroom. Let's get down to business. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's call it a day. Goodbye, Alana. You know, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Yo, we, we going out for drinks for sure. Oh, like I said, where, where are we supposed to get money from? Like, how are we supposed to get the bag to get some drinks? You know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all know, let me know, man. I got ready for the classes. You know what I'm saying? It was too, too easy. Watch TV. They go in. How's it going? It's going fine. How was work? Like always, thought I'm a bit tired today. Did you miss me? You're about to find out now. And you already know what it is. Catch you in the next one. You were great today, honey. You don't kiss me. I don't know where them lips been. Nah, I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you. I'm going to hit the shower and then I'll go to bed. Sure. Day 23, Tuesday, Jordan, Jordan day. It's so hard to wake up in the mornings. Your mind slowly turns on. The remnants of drowsiness drift away and you suddenly begin to realize that. You know what happened, man? Like It's become, it's, it's becoming a routine, routine thing. You know what I'm saying? Everything, you know, we've been doing this with Ann like every single day since she got here, basically. You know, since we first did it. I say it's an amazing, let's get to work then. You may go. She must be in her bag. She must be really like, uh, like a weight has been lifted off her shoulders now. I should go to my internship now. Yo, I low key forgot about the internship. Hi. Hi, Alex. How's it going? Well, it could have been better. Did something happen? No, it's fine. I'm just a little tired, I guess. Well, I can help you in it. It should be make things easier, right? Yeah, sure. Especially given what a helper you are. All right, let's get to it. Yes, ma'am. I took my seat and got to work. You know, we working on the computer, doing a little Excel shit, you know? Hi. How's it going with our report? I've just begun working on it. You know that I've been putting finishing touches on the, on the claim. Time's money, Irene. That project must be done by today. It was an unpleasant scene to watch, so I got back to work. What, today? But there's so much to do. Hey, girl, have you forgotten your place? I said the project must be done by today. What an asshole, yo. That's why when I get married, yo, when I get married, bro, I gotta like, I gotta make sure she the stay at home mom or you no, know, I gotta hire or something. You know what I'm saying? She gotta be working with me or something because if she is a receptionist or a secretary for 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 a dude like this, you never, hey, you never know, man. The boss might be killing your your wife. You know what I'm saying? I told you that I had plans for today and a week ago. Today is our anniversary. We've been planning. Irene's voice broke. I felt sorry for her, but there was nothing I could do. So hurry up, or better yet, think about my proposal. Everything can turn out pretty well for you. This wasn't the best moment to pry, and I was about to get back to work when I heard sobs. What a jerk, he drove her to tears. And as it seemed, he did it intentionally. You don't need to be a genius to understand why he did it. Irene, don't worry, every problem can be solved. You know nothing about my problems, okay? And never came like that, you know what I'm saying? You gotta show some empathy in, this, in these type of situations. Okay, okay, I just wanted to help. I'm sorry, I, I lost control for a second. You didn't do anything wrong, really. I'll go. I need to freshen up. I decided not to waste any time and kept on working. Once I heard someone coming in, I turned around and saw Irene. Have you calmed down? It's hard to say. I just had a tough time explaining why the party is canceled. Alex, why are you all so selfish? What? what? Me selfish? What do you mean by that? Hey, don't tar everyone with the same brush. Besides, maybe you should, shouldn't have canceled the party. If we go all out, maybe we'll be able to finish the project in time. No, Alex. Even together, we'd have to work until midnight. Besides, I don't want to bother you with my problem. Don't, yo, that's that's the only option we see. As you wish. I got back to work. Soon enough, Irene got up and knocked on the boss's cabinet door. Anatoly Viktorovich, may I come in? Yes. It was weird. Irene was in his office for a long time when she still had so much work to do. I was dying to see what was going on in there, but I sub subdued by desire. Besides, I could guess what exactly she was doing in there. Seemed like she gave up and accepted the proposition. Hey, she was in there for a minute, so yeah, she probably did that, man. No, it's not It's not my business. Who am I to judge her? Being engrossed in my thoughts, I didn't even notice Irene walking out the office. She quietly moved to her working place and began packing things up. Irene, where are you going? I'm going home. What about the project? I don't care. Irene, what the heck is going on? I quit. I can't take it anymore. Looks like I was wrong about her. She didn't give up after all. I'm really sorry that everything turned out. Me too. I got back to work with an oppressive feeling inside of me. I felt sorry for her, but there was nothing I could have done or was there. That's it, Alex. You can go. I really wanted to get away from that place as soon as possible. Hi, honey. I've been waiting for you. Hey. 
coming home with it. You know what I'm saying? Feel me? 24, this is Kobe year. Kobe Wednesday, Kobe day. When I woke up, Ann wasn't in bed. I went into the hall and heard the sound of water running and Ann had to be there. She didn't hear me coming in. Hey, here go another scene. You know what I'm saying? Damn, it just... Hold on, hold on. It just get right to class. We ain't eat no breakfast. We ain't take... We did take the We ain't no breakfast. We ain't get to choose the, the little school. It's get right to the class, man. Got no money, so I ain't even gonna bother, bro. In the hallway, I saw a woman's pair of shoes in addition to Ann's shoes, but there was no one in the room. It's weird. Judging by the sounds coming from the bedroom, Ann and her guests must be there. Should I disturb them? I wanna check that motherfucker out, oh, yo. Yeah. What? Let's go, let's go check it out, man. I bet. I'm guessing, yo. I'm guessing it's the it's the workout girl, bro. That's what I'm guessing. Let's see if I'm right, man. I came to the bedroom's door. It turned out to be a little open. Maybe it's rude to peek, but my curiosity got the better of me. Besides, I'd have already known what was going on in there. There's no way to misinterpret these sounds. It didn't come. It didn't surprise me when I saw what I saw. Anne's story about her incident in the gym popped in my head right away. Her question after I said, "Hey, I tell you, I told I told you I'm right, man." Well, I didn't mind as it seems, and it didn't mind. And didn't mind either. My, you know, it did get, you know what I'm saying? Three's company. Three's company. Three's company. Hey, day 25, Thursday, man. Catch all up to speed on this, bro. I couldn't show everything on it. So let's just say, all right, get back in the crib. Trainer at the gym. Remember the trainer at the gym? You know what I'm saying? Remember her? Yeah. So I was correct. It was. We caught them. Doing the thing to thing, you know what I'm saying? So we decided to join the thing to thing, but we didn't do the thing to thing with the trainer. Trainer's name is Natalia. We ain't do it with her, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of it all, it was introduced that it'll be a love triangle, you know what I'm saying? It'll be a love triangle. I had to pick a choice. Am I against it in a relationship with uh with Ann, or am I cool with it? So I chose I'm cool with it, you know what I'm saying? But the dialogue was on a point bro. he said yo i can't i'm only cool with it and listen natalia's with you know with with the kid you know what i'm saying so I'm, I'm liking that choice and she was and then we went for rounds and rounds and rounds you know what i'm saying three's company type stuff so hey we in a love we in a little, little little love triangle going on you dig me let's go day 25 thursday andrew hi man hi how's it going it's fine our alana is some something after all huh can you think about something else except this? What should I think about then? Don't tell me that you never cocked at her. Of course I have. We kept on talking before the bell rang and we had to go to class. Well, let's get to our Alana. It said today's our last internship. Yep, today's the last day of my internship. Okay, cool, cool. When I entered the office, instead of Irina, I noticed a new girl. Damn, that boy worked quick. He got a new one in there like in a snap, my... Oh, I dig it, I dig it. Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm here for my internship. Hi, yes, Anatoly Victor, 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 bitch. I'm still not going to know how to say his name on the first time. Warn me about you. Wait, 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 what? Okay. I'm Sarah, and I'm going to replace Irene, who recently quit. It's nice to meet you. You too. Anatoly Victor, bitch. Said that he emailed the files to your notebook. Okay, I'll look through them. There actually was an email. Having gone through the files, I've been I began working. Cool, cool. Sarah, have you finished the work on the claim I sent to you? No, I haven't yet. How so? All you need to do is change some data there. It's a boilerplate claim. I'm still learning. Yeah, keep learning and come to my office in 10 minutes. The hardworking employee is replaced with an idiot. Now you have to do everything by yourself, jackass. And these things happen and will continue to happen. That's crazy, man. It ain't no ending. Sarah entered the office without knocking. The dress code had also been changed. Well, her ass was in her bag. Okay. Judging by the sounds coming from behind the shut door, Anatoly Viktorovich was busy showing the basics to a new employee. All right, so we back on his BS. He back on his bullshit, man. Mm, mm, mm. That's crazy. When you have, when you in a position of power. Crazy, man. Crazy what you do, man. Sarah left the office at last. Her face was totally emotionless. For some time, I couldn't stop thinking about asking her how did the briefing go, but I decided that it would be silly of me. It's not my business after all. It, it ain't. But of course, she was a girl you would call a good girl. That's for sure. 
What? Huh? You're giving me such a weird look. Oh, sorry. It was an unintentional. How do you like the job so far? Like it here? Well, this job is no different from any other. However, this one might be a bit more boring, but overall, it's good. Besides, I was promised a good salary. We finished that claim? What? Oh, no. Anatoly Viktorovich said he would take it. All right, so I, I know what he's doing here. I know, I know what he's doing here. He's giving these girls so much work that they won't be able to meet at the time, at the deadline time. So when they come, so when they come in, he can persuade them and coerce them probably, I don't know, coerce them into like, you know, doing what he wants them to do. So this is what he's doing, bro. Okay. I see. Well, I'll return to my work. And she looked pretty fine with that. Sure. She's just sitting behind the table and reading and she's doing to get paid for this. It's funny, isn't it? No. Of course, it's their private matter. I just feel sorry for Irene, who really worked hard, but was forced to leave because of that asshole she had no desire to spread her legs for. Instead of her, he hires his brain-dead doll who obviously knows only how to give a head. You know what I'm saying? I wonder how I will get a job when the time comes. I have to go to the courthouse. If someone looks for me, tell them to call back in a few hours. Sure thing. Good luck to you. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Hi, kitten. I'm doing nothing. I'm on the job. Do you remember that ring which I like so much? Hey, you don't love me at all. Uh, I better concentrate on the work. Yeah, stop eavesdropping. Let them rot. Let them rot. Alex, you can take your documents and go. I've signed everything. I got a so I got so focused I didn't even notice him coming back. Great, thank you. Take care. Once I took my documents, I left with a desire to never come back to that place. Judging by the pair of shoes in the hall, Natasha was in. Hmm. The evening promised to be hot. Having undressed, I headed out to the. All right, so Natasha. Natasha, Natalia, I don't know what her name is, man. But anyway, we're gonna call her Natty. Be back at it again, and I'll catch you on the next appropriate scene. I finally, yo, all right, so I'm gonna only show the scenes that we never seen before. That's what I'm gonna show, bro, because it's really repetitive, and I'm trying to get through this, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a Saturday. Hi, Alex. And I have an idea. How about we go out somewhere? Like, we can go to a movie, then we can have dinner. Instead of answering to my question, Anne Lily jumped onto me and gave me a hot... All right, so next. Obviously. An hour passed before Anne came back in a new outfit. How do you like my new dress? So-called dress looked astonishing on her. It did a poor job at covering the things that should be covered, but accentuated the shapes of a figure. Turn around, let me see. Mmm, really sexy. It highlights mine really nicely. It's all basically doesn't cover it. It didn't take us long to get to the movie theater. Now we just had to buy tickets. Hello, two tickets, please. Sure, here. Yo, what's up with her arms, dog? Once we bought the tickets, we went to the cinema hall. I moved forward to open the door to let Anne go first. You're so gallant. Alex, thank you. How incredibly sexy her. Look, dude, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. You little, little, ain't nothing wrong with a little smack. You know what I'm saying? Hey, there are people behind us, Alex. Don't get handy yet. Oh, who cares? Um, you know, uh -huh. even without your help, dummy. Some random trailers were being shown on the screen. That meant that the movie would start very soon. It's nice that we finally got out somewhere. I'm so happy that you care about what I want. I'll try to make this evening memorable. It was early in the morning, so there weren't a lot of people in the theater. Yo, head right up to the back. All right, we settled in our seats and got right ready to watch the movie. Alex, frankly, this movie is total trash. I agree. The ad campaign was so big, but everything is as usual. Sorry. You want to leave? Nah, I have a better idea. Yeah, I know the vibes. I know the vibes, man. <sighs> Yo, if you're going to look, you better mind. You might as well keep join too. You know what I'm saying? We can have another three. coming. Hey, man, don't, don't, don't watch me. You know what I'm saying? Mind your business. Look at that smile, dog. She... You know, even though we tried to be quiet, obviously we failed as the girl who was sitting in the next row. Turn around because she heard something. That was fantastic. Yeah, you're both fantastic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blind hair show you that was watching me get the, you know what I'm saying? The Glock 22500. Followed us? Okay, okay. What a twist. When did she enter the room? We were so engrossed in each other that we didn't even notice it. Do not stop. I do not want to interrupt you. I saw you in the hall and will it turn me on so much that I could not resist the urge to follow you. I'm sorry. Let's do this. Hey, man. Hey, man. Would you like to? 
I think she's kind of. I think I think I think I, I think I like Anne. I, th I think I like Anne. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm glad I picked Anne, y'all. I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I have you, and that's more than enough. Yo, come. Oh, we already in the three. We already in the love triangle, triangle, my boy. Man, let's see. Let's see, man. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I must have the wrong room. No, no, we're leaving. You're fine. He, did you see his face? And how would you look if you entered the ladies' room and saw a guy there? A nice looking guy? Some someone's about to cross the line. Oh, are you going to punish me, my dear? I wonder how exactly we do. Yo, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Are you serious? Who knows? I feel good with you around. Dad, what are you doing here? Uh-oh. I should be asking you the same question. I live here, just so you know. You should study, just so you know. I can decide for myself what I should do. I'm a grown-up already. Don't raise your voice when talking to me. Wait, you all should calm down. It's none of your business. Who the hell are you and what are you doing here? I live here. You let me in. Did I? I let you live here and study, not sleep with my daughter. Wait, what? It, it's up to her. Really, I'm afraid that it's up to me. I don't want to see you in the house tomorrow. Well, it's, it's your right. And you stay. I need to talk to you. Alex, just go. He won't get off my back before he says whatever he wants to. Okay, good luck. Where are we going to stay, bro? You kicking us up? I decided to listen to their conversation after all, but I was careful. They both still were on edge. Shit, I'm so tired of him. Huh, parents can be annoying sometimes. What are we going to do? I right. They doing too much. You know, these, these some horn dogs. You know what I'm saying? I know it all happened so quickly. My parents won't be able to help me to rent a new flat for sure. So you need to find a job where you decide to go back home. Here comes that adult life. Now after work, maybe it's for the best. Time to sleep. Day 27. Wake up, wake up, sleep. You are so slow. I'm all set. I'm ready today. I took a shower and then got dressed in five minutes. Anyway, what's the hurry? It's the right time to go to hurry. Do you think it's a piece of cake to find a good flat? Go, go. I'm ready. Let's go then. Today isn't our day for sure. We have been checking out different options for a couple of hours but I still haven't found anything suitable for us what a nice neighborhood don't be a nag I don't like this place either but this is the last option we have on the list today though if you want to go back to the that at flop house you're free to go it's an okay neighborhood you know it's not it's not if you look closely let's see that flat ha. hey it's not bad the bed is small yeah we could use a bigger one for sure oh come on well good thing we have a shower I take it that you like it here well I agree this could have been way worse the kitchen is really small though. Yeah, remind me how many times you promised me you would learn how to cook. But you still ain't cooked me one damn dish. You know what I'm saying? I learned how. So are you okay with the flat? Yes, we are ready to rent it. Yo, this this gotta be the most creepiest character in the motherfucking game, bruh. Look at his eyes, man. And he wearing a turtleneck, bald head with a turtleneck. You never trust nobody with a bald head and a turtleneck on at the same time. With the eyes like that. What the f Look like Mr. Clean. Okay, I'll be coming on once a month to check out the flat and for money. Always give a call before coming. Well, get settled, young people. He His ass, like, he got camera set up all around his flat. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just in at home just watching, like, for his entertainment and for some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Whew, I'm so tired. Yeah, it was one hell of a day. Anyway, now we have our own place and there are no cockroaches like in the last flat. Well, I mean, I haven't seen them so far. I'll take a shower. Hey, now we can't take a shower together. It's a temporary problem. We managed to find a temporary solution to our problems. However, things still didn't look good in the long run. There was no way Anne would be able to pay the rent alone. It's not like I would let her bear the burden alone. I had to find a job. Deep in thoughts about everyday problems, I stopped into the class. I stepped into the class. Just when I took my seat, Alana entered the class. I guess I came right in the nick of time. Well, let's get started. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The lesson's over. You may go. Hi, Ann. 
Hi there, how was it? Uh, same old, nothing new. Studying classes, mundane, boring stuff. You're lucky. There was a drunk client today. He smashed the main door into pieces and broke a window. You can guess what happened next. Boys in blue, scuffle. Well, at least they let us go home earlier today. That works for me. So routine isn't always a bad thing, as you can see. Hey, be careful out there. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. I should find a job, too, as soon as possible. I think I'll go look through the I'll open it. Eat first. Later. I'm not really hungry anyway. Any luck? No, nothing. Nothing that would work for a student. I sent my resume to a couple of places. Maybe someone will respond. You never know. Don't worry. We've got enough money. I know, but I'm not going to live off you. Don't be silly. What's with your hair, by the way? I thought you didn't notice. A small makeover. How do you like it? It looks nice. Looks good with your tan. Thank you, honey. A few days later, I stopped being so picky and started sending my resume everywhere, regardless whether or not I fit the criteria. I hope for the best. I mean, someone had to respond sooner or later, right? Dinner is ready. Please come and eat something. Oh, she cooked. She already cooking for us, man. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. And later, I haven't checked this website yet. I was sure that at least one firm would respond. Even that street cleaner would be, would do at that point. You have to start somewhere, right? Oh, why did I even choose to become a lawyer when everyone clearly needs engineers? Hey, note to self. Go ahead and blur that in the blinds, man. Go ahead and do that. Uh, honey, how about we blow off some steam together? Just a moment. Oh, we've only started living together yet. You already prefer your PC instead of me? What's next? And I'm sorry, but you know that I'm doing this for us. I know. You've been so stressed lately that never... Whoa, you have been so stressed lately... That's never good news. I'll have to work hard to help you with that problem. Yeah, like like that. I feel so relieved. You're exhausted. You should get your mind off things and relax a little. Come on. Scoot over. Make room for a lady. Whoa, I didn't notice. Yeah, that's the problem. I was about to take offense. Let's go to the bedroom. We can you know I mean? Sometime later. Still sifting through open. Yo, all right. It's your boy Ryan after dark, man. We're going to leave it on that note. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know how you're going. Hey, man. I don't know where this is leading to, but we're going to find out soon, bro. Been a lot of repetitiveness going on. But, hey, I'm I'm still, we still finishing this out, bro. So, if you want more, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. I'm out.